Hey Gooby Ubers! <laughs> well, I want to talk about the painting behind me, the watering hole. Um, and the reason why I've called it the watering hole. Um, I don't know, it just felt right. <laughs> no, well I was looking at it and um, it just looks like an elephant, right? If you can see it from my big head. It's like an elephant here. Down there is this trunk. Oh, down there is this trunk. Um, yeah, and it's sort of like this blue area around. It's sort of like the watering hole, and there's like this fish creature here, sort of swimming. Obviously, representational for being in the watering hole, and um, that could symbolise some sort of like footprints of animals. And there's another creature here which I don't particularly no. Sort of looks very Picasso-ish in some sort of weird way. Um, but I was thinking what I'm going to do is there's this really nice blue there's this sort of blue area here. Sort of looks like a path. So I wanted to have sort of like create pathways to the watering hole. So I'm sort of going to work on just bringing in some little paths and I don't know what else. But I think it's pretty getting close to pretty much getting finished. There's not a, lot, a whole lot more I want to do. I sort of maybe, maybe I'll put, I don't know, some of my moon symbology back over here, moving across, uh, and bring in some little flowers here and there and uh, that sort of thing. So that's what I'm going to do. So it's almost done, so that's great. I um, went out. I bought a whole heap of new inserts for my book because I was out. So I got another four, so I've got 20. 20 new ones. Because I want to fill this little book up now with lots of little works on paper. Well, that's the, well, that's what I want to do. Um, so when I take it to the US, I've got um, stuff to sell and um, whoever, you know, if I sell it at the Art and Soul. But this is the latest one that I've just finished. It's called The Triangle Effect. And I don't know if you can see the triangle. I really like triangles. Just, I've always been fascinated by the triangle shape. I guess it, they're quite representational for many different things, you know. Bermuda Triangle, there's, there's a lot of mystery around them. Triangles create, like, well, people reckon they create, like, energy. The pyramid's a triangle. Um, you know, it sort of points up towards the heavens, and, yeah, it's a way for people to travel. Yeah, you know all that crap <laughs> that goes with it. But, um, yeah, so I thought... Yeah, I like triangles and the symbology behind them, so I might start putting a few more triangles in my work just because, just because I can. I also made this little, well, it's not quite finished, but little work on on a playing card, sort of. Yeah, it's just a bit of a collage and a bit of a screen print stencil. But that's it. Oh, I also um started decorating this little mask it's a little it's one that's made out of das clay you know that paper clay that air dries um, I thought I could put it in like a sardine can shrine I'm actually working up well the idea is I'm working on some really small sardine can shrines like miniature miniature um, and do I have one around Um, no, I don't have one around, but yeah, I'll show you in another video, but um, yeah, I'm going to put these in there and do a couple of little things here and there, and um, that is it. I really have a lot, I've got lots of calves being born at the moment, there's one cow, she's about to have twins. Oh, and she's huge. She's like, oh my god. I wouldn't want to be her for a million, for a million dollars. She's just like, 
I don't even know how she's going to survive it because she's just... I've never seen a cow so pregnant. You know, it's bad enough carrying one calf and pushing it out, let alone two. I mean, sh and she's this is her first calf, first set of calves, so it's going to be like, you know, it's like a double whammy. <laughs> Poor thing. Feel sorry for her. So she's due in, I don't know, probably a week. I'd say a week she's probably due. Uh, there's a new calf that came th three days ago. Was it three days ago? Two days ago. A little male. We've had a run of male calves lately. I think the last four have been all males. So, yeah, another one. And um, just been cutting wood, stacking wood, because we prepare it now and leave it out to dry for the whole of spring and summer. And then we cut it up really small for firewood in the, in the autumn. But we've got to do it now before all the sap um, before all the leaves come on because then it's, then it's a lot harder so been doing that during the day so yeah I really haven't had a lot of time and I really haven't been wanting to be online lately I just I just feel like when you swim in the same pond for too long it just becomes a bit a bit boring well not boring but it just becomes a bit stagnant you know what I mean and sometimes you just gotta do your own thing and just you know go with the flow and just you know do it so yeah I've sort of been keeping to myself I haven't been online very much I may post a couple of things here and there on Facebook and on my dig site but other than that I've really just been trying to keep to myself and just focus on what I'm doing and um, it's sort of nice to just do do your own thing don't you reckon just go with your own flow and let the energy go where it goes <laughs> yeah yeah bloody hippie yes in another life actually I was in the shower as I always am I've got this thing, I need to lock the door, the front door and the back door and make sure the house is locked up when I'm taking a shower. I don't know why, I just do. It's like, I, um, there's this compelling need that I can't take a shower unless the place is locked. Maybe I was killed in a past life in the shower. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, it's weird, I always shower with the door closed um, I think that would probably be one of my biggest fears is being attacked in the shower um, you know I don't need my why I said that I'm um, just working on this little piece here um, I had a backing on it but it wasn't very secure so I'm having to drill holes and reset it in there but it's sort of like another shrine another type of shrine I'm not particularly fussed on this green around it so I'm probably going to alter that green color um, the front isn't um, isn't glued on yet just because I've still got to do the back but um, so I'm going to fix that up and um, get it up on my Etsy store. I've been putting lots of stuff up on my Etsy store lately. I don't know, I've just been in a bit of a productive mood. I um, just... I think it's because of that big full moon that was around a couple of days ago. You know, it was huge. And my energy levels just have gone through the roof, as in terms of just uh, making art, like working on lots of little stuff. It's just like crazy. I think it's, um, you know, it's an extra jolt of energy I get from the from the moon uh, and it was like I was hard to sleep and just just needed to create you know didn't want to do anything else like I said I'm in that mood where I just don't want any responsibility I just don't want to do anything I just want to go with what I want I want to create I want to paint what I want to paint I want to yeah I just want to be a nomad yeah, I just want to go mad. <laughs> yeah. 
I was thinking about I wanted to do this um, this parody about artists and create you know several art characters different types of artists based on artists that I like or artists who irritate me uh, I also wanted to create like a um, an art critic typed character and just make some videos with interviews with these types of characters just to see um, just to see what would evolve because I was driving home from the post office today and you know, I was talking away to myself like making up all of these fictitious characters and stuff it was crazy so I'm going crazy I really am <laughs> But yeah, all right, that's it. I just wanted to touch in, touch and say, hey, hey ho, how are you? How are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, later.